Hey there everyone, and today I'm just going to really quickly show you how to use MPEG-2 files on your Mac. Now if you have like a Sony Handycam or something like I do, you'll notice that it, ex it makes the videos in MPEG, in MPG format, and this uses the MPEG-2 codec. And if you try to open this with QuickTime X, didn't mean to do that. If you try to open this with QuickTime X, it will tell you the document eggdrop.mpg could not be opened. The movie is not in a format that QuickTime Player understands. So if you click Tell Me More and you go through a whole bunch of hoops, you'll find out that you have to pay 20 bucks to use um, to use the playback component. And if you're like me, you're a cheapskate and you don't really want to pay 20 bucks just so that you can use the files that you're $200, $300 video camera makes. So, how are we going to get around this? Well, if you have VLC on your Mac, you can open it in VLC. And that's fine and dandy if you are okay with using VLC. But let's say you don't really want to use VLC. You want to be able to use it in iMovie, ScreenFlow, uh, QuickTime, whatever. Well, all you need to do is download this application called Handbrake, there it is, and you can get it in the description below. And what this application is designed for is it is designed to rip DVDs so that you can like put them on your iPod or your iPhone or whatever, but it also works great for MPEG-2 videos. So find the MPEG file that you want and open it and then you can browse to where you want to save it so we will save it as eggdrop.m4v and you can play around with all the settings um, the biggest thing that I've noticed you should change is the picture settings and you should make sure that this is the same as what it was before so once you have everything how you like it just hit the start button and you'll get a little uh, progress bar down there in the bottom and depending on the size of your video it might take a few seconds like mine might take a few minutes might take a few hours maybe if it's a really big file so once it's done it'll come up and tell you that it's done and you can quit handbrake and now on your desktop or wherever you saved it you have a new .m4v file so we're gonna open this in uh, quick view or whatever And that's almost exactly the same quality as what it is on the PC when I'm actually able to use it in MPEG format. So now you can take this and you can email it, you can put it into iMovie, you can edit it, you can do whatever you want to, and you don't have to worry about paying 20 bucks just so you can watch the videos that your Sony Handycam or similar video camera makes. So thanks for watching this video. You can download. Uh, handbrake using the link in the description. Please check out my blog at blog.gavinroscamp.com and that's about it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.